Hello, welcome to Indiana's Virtual College Exploration. We're so happy that you could join us today. If you have a question for our presenters, you can ask those by texting the question in the Q&A section of your screen. Your microphone and your video will be off throughout the presentation. This is just one of many sessions that we have available for you over the next three weeks, and you can join any of those by going to inacac.org. Also, this presentation will be available for you on demand in about a week at the same website, inacac.org. Now, I'm gonna turn it over to your presenters. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us today on the uh, webinar about public, private, and community college, uh, colleges here in Fort Wayne. My name is Sunila and I'll briefly be talking to you about Fort Wayne. So in today's seminar, you'll have the opportunity to hear from the different public, private, and community colleges right here in Fort Wayne. Um, before we do get started, I wanted to make you guys aware that there is a question and answer box where you can type questions throughout the presentation. And at the end, we will um, save some time to kind of go through th those questions. Um, if for some reason we aren't able to get to all the questions, we will make sure we um, get you an answer um, after your presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, by talking a little bit about Fort Wayne. Okay. Um, so Fort Wayne, Indiana is the second largest city in Indiana. We are located in the northeast part of the state. So we are known for being a very affordable city and also a really friendly city. Um, I like to think of Fort Wayne as a city with a small town feel. For example, even when you land at the Fort Wayne airport, you're greeted by fresh baked cookies from um, a local bakery here in town. Um, we have also won the award for All America City three times, and we are named after General Anthony Wayne, um, who was a military leader who established the first American fort at the junction of the three rivers. And um, Fort Wayne is known for our three rivers, which are the St. Mary's, St. Joe, and the Maumee Rivers. And um, along with these rivers, there's a lot of fun activities you can do. For example, there's different trails, different parks, um, a riverfront, and also a festival. So a lot of fun things you can do. Um, other attractions in Fort Wayne uh, include uh, our local zoo, uh, which is actually voted the seventh best zoo in the country. So if you ever um, get a chance to check out Fort Wayne, make sure you go there. We have some arts and culture opportunities here. Um, as far as dining goes, we are known as a city of restaurants. So a lot of good options from Chick-fil-A to um, fine dining and a lot of great local spots to check out. So for shopping, we have two malls, both indoor and outdoor. We have local boutiques and also a farmer's market. For sports, we have Tin Caps Baseball, Mad Ants Basketball, Comets Hockey, and also um, different college teams, which you'll hear about later in your presentation. So um, the cool thing about Fort Wayne is that you get to experience a little bit of city life, uh, suburban life, rural life, and also some lake life because we're not too far from different lakes. So when the weather is nice, a lot of people go to the lake for the weekend. If you ever just wanna take a road trip um, for the day or just get away for the weekend, we're not too far from other cities like Chicago, Detroit, Cincinnati. Um, here are some reasons uh, to live in Fort Wayne. So we have, as I mentioned, a low cost of living. We're number five lowest cost of living in the US. Um, we are an easy city to get around, so there's not much traffic here. You can find your way around pretty easily. We have been voted the most caring city. Uh, we are the fifth safest city in the U.S., and we have a great quality of life. Um, as far as reasons to work in Fort Wayne go, um, we, uh, it's one of the best cities to find a job. 
It's number one in the US for job creation, um, top 10 best paying cities, a great place to start a business, um, a great place to be a teacher. Um, we have a lot of businesses headquartered here like Vera Bradley, Steel Dynamics, Sweetwater Sound, and also a lot of healthcare related opportunities as well. So now um, the higher education institutions in Fort Wayne, so we have public and private. For public, we have Ivy Tech Community College, Indiana University, Fort Wayne, Purdue University, Fort Wayne. For private, we have Indiana Tech and the University of St. Francis. And then we're gonna um, start off by talking um, about Ivy Tech. Hello, my name is Alicia O'Neill and I am one of the Assistant Admission Directors at Ivy Tech Community College. Um, and I'll give you a couple facts about Ivy Tech. Um, and then of course, if you guys have questions at the end, please feel free to ask. So a couple of quick facts about Ivy Tech. We are pretty rare. We are the only community college in the state of Indiana. A lot of different states have several different community college. So the great thing about Ivy Tech is that there are several different locations across the state of Indiana. So depending on wherever you're at, you can definitely find the Ivy Tech Community College near your home. Um, we have over 40 locations with 150 plus programs statewide. Um, so a little bit of everything sprinkled all over the state. We are regionally accredited, which is really important. Our credits will transfer to any large universities um, and especially within the state of Indiana by state law. Um, our average class size is about 22. Uh, the max you will have in a class is about 30, depending on what program you are pursuing. Uh, when it comes to our smaller class sizes is the ones that have the more hands-on or clinical-based coursework. Um, between our Fort Wayne and Warsaw campuses, which are one of two of our larger campuses, we have about 50, 54 programs spread out. Um, so nursing is a big program on our campus, as well as we have a great automotive program that'll let us students like to choose as well. Um, we are the most affordable school in the state. We do pride ourselves in being able to um, have a cost to where students can afford it. And then if they are interested in going to a four-year school, they can save that little money up front and use that on the back end when they transfer to their four-year institution or even go out into the workforce. Um, so the cool thing about Ivy Tech, we have two different career pathways. So a lot of students come to Ivy Tech and was like, hey, Alicia, I just want to go to school for two years and then go off into the workforce. So that first pathway is your Associate of Applied Science. So you're doing two years with Ivy Tech. We're going to prepare you, give you all the skills and education you need to go off into the workforce and start working right away. The second option is an Associate of Science. So this is one that a lot of students like to choose. They will start with Ivy Tech, um, do two years, and then transfer as a junior to these great colleges that are on this panel as well. Um, so if you want a bachelor's degree without a lot of debt, you're taking the same coursework that you would take at your four-year partner. It is taking at Ivy Tech for a more affordable rate and then transferring over to these other schools to complete your bachelor's degree. Here are the main branches of our programs between our Fort Wayne and Warsaw location. We have nursing, information technology, we have advanced manufacturing, engineering, and applied science. We have a health sciences branch, public affairs, and social services arts and sciences and education, and then we have a business logistics and supply chain branch. And of course, that's where those um, 150 programs fall up underneath those branches. Um, here are a couple of things about Ivy Tech. So we're, we're unique in the fact that we offer associate degrees, technical certificates, and certificates. So as I mentioned before, a lot of students may not want to go to a four-year school, so they'll start with Ivy Tech complete their associate's degree and go off into the workforce, or if they're already in the workforce and looking to do a different career path or, or change their route and what they're doing, they will lean on our certificates and technical certificates. As you can see, of course, an associate degree, if you're going full time, you can complete that in, in two years. Technical certificates can be completed in a year, and then a short-term workforce certification can be completed in less than a year. And of course, it depends on what program you're pursuing. Here are all of our transfer partners. So as you can see, um, my lovely panelists, their colleges are on here. A lot of students will start with us and transfer over. We have great relationships with these colleges, as well as agreements where starting with us, your credits will transfer and you will walk on as a junior at these colleges, as long as you complete your associate's degree in the curriculum that is provided in that partnership. 
And of course, you can transfer to any school that's outside of the state, the state of Indiana as well, but we work closely with the schools that was listed. This slide here, um, roughly the tuition at Ivy Tech is about $4,500, so it's a little outdated. Um, but as you can see, um, the same coursework that you're taking at Ivy Tech, you can take at these other schools, but this is just we're able to offer a more affordable rate to students because of us being a state-funded college. Um, of course, there's tuition, um, there's fees and books that you have to cover, but one year at Ivy Tech, which is 15 credit hours, 12 to 15 credit hours is about $4,500 just tuition based. So definitely a more affordable start to transfer over or a good start to go off into the workforce and start making a living for yourself and your family. Did I skip the slide? Okay. So here is our student life slide. So we're, Ivy Tech, even though we're small, I say we're, we're very mighty. We have over 30 plus student clubs and organizations. And if there's an organization that we don't have that you're interested in starting, you can always definitely start one. We have um, great access to faculty and outside organizations that assist us in getting students where they need to go and what they wanna do. So that's a great thing on campus. Wild Wednesdays is my favorite. Every Wednesday um, on campus, there is a weekly free event for students. Um, right now, of course, everything is virtual, but normally when we are on campus, it always includes food. So don't forget that part. That's always the fun part on campus. Uh, we do have a fitness center, tons of volunteer opportunities in the community and of course on campus. And we do have intramural sports that you can play in free time. Sports. So we are the Titans. Uh, we recently just got a new team women's volleyball. So if you are interested in volleyball, I can definitely get you the information. They are currently recruiting um, new women's volleyball players. Um, our baseball team um, was newly formed last year and they have done excellent. Um, they are ranked in the nation actually for the um, Dasher Junior College Athletic Association. So we are very proud of them and what they've done. And a lot of our students, of course, like you transfer to a four year school, they have started with us, done two years and then transferred to larger schools and are playing for those institutions in those colleges. How do you enroll at Ivy Tech? Really, really, really easy process. Um, the application is free. You can find it at um, www.ivytech.edu. Um, there is no references or essays or anything that you have to complete. The great thing that students love about our enrollment process is that um, you have to show college readiness. Everyone's accepted. But the way to show college readiness is we either look at ACT, SAT, and PSAT scores, and I can provide that information, or we look at your high school GPA. So if you have a 2.6 GPA or higher with a core 40 academic honors or technical honors diploma, and that's within the state of Indiana, um, you qualify for college ratio or you qualify for an assessment. So we are assessment waiver. So we will put that information on your account and you won't have to worry about taking the assessment test. Also, we look at if you've taken a college level English or a college level math class, a lot of students will do dual credit. And if you've completed a college level English and math class with a C or better, you qualify for waivers and that moves you to the next step in the enrollment process. Um, there is an online orientation called an FYIV that all students must watch. And all those steps will be um, granted to you upon your application completion. And next up, we have Purdue University Fort Wayne. Hi everybody, my name is Sable Robinson. I am one of the assistant directors here at Purdue for Wayne. Um, I'm pretty sure you heard about all the Purdue's in Indiana, but we have a really special one here in uh, Fort Wayne, near and dear to my heart, because I'm an alum. So as you can see in this picture in the back, yes, it looks like an elephant, but it is not. We are the Mastodons, okay? No, we are not the mammoths from like Ice Age. Once again, we are the Dons. And we are the Dons because we actually found bones of a Mastodon not too far from campus. And those bones were donated to us. So hence, we get to um, use that. And fun fact, we are the only Mastodons in the United States. So when you become a Don, you become a group of an exclusive group of people. Just putting it out there, okay? Everybody's great, but Dons might be great, maybe a little. So as we go. Okay, so just to talk about tuition and fees, because I know that's one of the biggest um, things that determine if you're going to, what school you will be going to. We have tuition and fees that are different. So in-state is around 8730 
MSEP and contiguous states. So MSEP is the Midwest Student Exchange Program. Those are um, different uh, states like Wisconsin and Minnesota and Illinois. And we also have um, agreements with contiguous states like Kentucky and Michigan, where you will pay $13,095. So it's still a discounted rate and you don't have to pay out of state. Um, out of state is basically like, you know, California, um, if you're coming from Florida, New York, things of that nature. And then you pay around 20961 Now that is just for tuition. Um, and I'll tell you about housing later, but we do have some of the best housing around. So usually when you do add housing, um, it usually add about $6,000 to each of those totals. One of the other things that I would encourage you to know about is books. Books are not included in that and you will have to pay for them. But the cool thing about our school is we do have merit scholarships. And our scholarships, um, they range and it all depends on your GPA and test score. Um, right now, I do understand due to the pandemic, um, it's a little confusing. We do understand if you do not have a test score right now, we can go off of your GPA. And we're looking for at least about a 2.3. Um, but hopefully throughout the rest of the year, you will be able to test and then send that test score into us. That is perfectly fine. And of course, we have the little reminder, you know, FAFSA opens up. Um, oh my god, it opened up. It's already October. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is October 6th. It opened up. Uh, so you should fill it out. So like fill that out ASAP. Okay. And that's our code right there at the bottom. So I'll tell you, talk to you about our academics. We have five colleges at our school. So the first school is College of Arts and Sciences, which I was a part of. I started off as a biology major. Me and chemistry did not get along, so I changed my major to communication. And now I get to talk to you, beautiful people, every day. Um, so I just want you to know, sometimes you'll go to college and you think you want to major and it doesn't work out and that is perfectly fine. And I also want you to know when you go to college, you don't have to know what you want to do. Um, that is what we're here for. We help you and you figure out, like you can be undecided. At our school, we have something called Pathway. So we just show you different areas that you can go into. So then we have, the College of Business. So um, you have business overall, or you can do a concentration like in accounting, business, economics, finance, management, marketing, and even money and banking. So then we have, I'm sorry. Yeah, so then we have the College of Professional Studies. So this is for our education majors. Like um, we have several different types of education majors. So we have early childhood education. We have um, elementary education, we have middle school education, and we have secondary. And our secondary education majors get to dual, they have a dual degree. So you will major in your specific area. Like for instance, if you want to be a math teacher, you'll major in math and you'll major in education. So that's kind of cool. Then, hold on, sorry. Sorry, I had to go back. So I skipped the first slide, but it was criminal justice. There we go. So criminal justice, hospitality management, and human service are also a part of this, um, this college that you can get involved in. So the next college, of course, is the College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science. A lot of people equate Purdue with engineering, and we do have it. Um, we have engineering, and we have the Polytechnic School. So I would um, equate, like, the engineer has to do a lot of math and science and they help like develop different things. Like if you're into mechanical engineering, you help develop the whole machine and how it works. But when you're doing like mechanical engineering technology, you actually get to tinker on that machine and work on it. So it depends on all you, what you want to do, but we have both versions for you, just to let you know. Then we have the College of Visual and Performing Arts. So if you are our if you are an artistic student, you can definitely come here. We have art and design and all the different concentrations there. We also have a theater major. We actually have a theater on campus where our students get to build the sets, help in directing classes, and they get to act. And even if you are not a theater major, you can be a part of a play, FYI. And then we have, we are Purdue's only school of music. So it's really exciting. Um, we have music industry uh, production and recording. We actually have part of our campus at Sweetwater here in Fort Wayne, which is also exciting. We also are one of the few schools in Indiana that has music therapy. So if you're interested in that, we have it. So our student housing and the reason why I attended this school, um, we have apartment style living. We do not have dorms. So that just means you're gonna get your own room. You don't have to share with anybody. And you have a full-size extra long bed, not a twin, okay? So you get a full-size extra long bed, you have your own closet, you will have drawers that you can just stack up or put under your bed. 
you will have a desk in your room and you will never share a bathroom with more than one person. So if, uh, if you heard all about those horror stories maybe about community bathrooms or things of that nature, we don't have them here. So you can also have your own bathroom. You will have to pay more, but you have that option. So as you can see, like in our clubhouse, we have foosball, ping pong, um, pool, and you can like watch movies over there. We have two basketball courts and a sand volleyball court at our housing. And you have fully equipped kitchens. It comes with an oven, a stove, a microwave, a full-size refrigerator, and a dishwasher. So yes, we trust you to cook. We just ask you not to burn anything down, but we trust you, okay? Um, you also can have a car on campus as a freshman, and there is no extra cost. Uh, you do not have a curfew. You come and go as you please. So we're trying to introduce you to adulthood here. And one of the cool things you have is free laundry. I'm a little jealous. It used to be a dollar to wash and a dollar to dry, but you get it for free now. So just make sure you have laundry detergent. Um, we have 24 hour maintenance and security. You're on your own lease. So you don't have to worry about anything with your roommates. The cable, internet and utilities are all included. And we have a three lock system for our security purposes. So you have to get into your building, into your apartment, and you can even lock your bedroom door. And as you can see the living room and all the other pictures on the side, just to show you some pics. And now, campus life. We have more than 1,500 free events on campus, so we encourage you to go to them. This is part of the tuition you are paying, so please make sure you go to them and enjoy them and get the free stuff. I still get free stuff by working here. I volunteer though, I just want you to know, I volunteer. So like bugs and hoodies and sweatpants, all that fun stuff. We have more than 100 um, student clubs and organizations. So like Alicia said, like if we don't have one that you want, you can always create one here. We do have the National Student Exchange Program and the Study Abroad Program. Um, you know, after the pandemic comes down, we'll figure out how we would do all of that. But the National Student Exchange Program, we have more than 200 different places you can go to. And the Study Abroad Program has more than 500. And you can do that all while still getting your degree. We do have work study jobs on campus. In the beginning of every year, we have a um, job fair for students. And we have 14 NCAA Division I team sports. Yes, you're probably gonna ask. We do not have football, okay? And we also don't have swimming, but we have other cool things, you know. Uh, we have baseball, we have basketball, things of that nature, track. And um, to go along with that, we do have a free fitness center. Um, you can do fitness classes. We have free tutoring, and we also have free parking. As long as you park in the white lines, you're good, okay? So if you are interested in coming or possibly applying, please go to pfw.edu, and that's where you can apply. Now, we will have you. All right, hi guys. Um, so we are Indiana University, Fort Wayne, um, and we are actually located on the same campus as Purdue Fort Wayne. Um, so I'll start just kind of talking um, about what Sable just told you guys about. Our students have access to all of those same resources. Our students live in PFW student housing, so it's a mix of PFW students and IE Fort Wayne students. Um, I do have to say our housing, the housing is definitely the best. It is really great for our students to only ever share a bathroom with one other person. Um, the apartment style floor plans are very homey. You can cook your food in your apartment and then go to campus, take it with you, um, things like that. It's a really, they're very nice. Our students also, you know, they do have access to that free tutoring and free parking and freshmen can have cars, which is really great as well. Um, the only difference is, is our students are not able to play on their sports teams. Um, we used to be IPFW and when the two schools split up, the NCAA um, decided that the IU Fort Wayne students could not play on the PFW sports teams. Um, but they are able to participate in the various intramural sports. They rotate through several different sports each semester. Um, so, you know, start an intramural team, join an intramural team, take part in that. All right, so I'm going to talk about um, our majors and our programs that we have here at IU Fort Wayne. Um, so we did used to be Purdue Fort Wayne and IU Fort Wayne used to be one school and we were IPFW. Um, when the two schools separated, um, PFW got the majority of the majors and IU Fort Wayne decided to take the health sciences. Um, so all of our degrees and programs are healthcare and health science related. Um, we have our Department of Dental Education. We have three programs within that. We have dental assisting, um, we have dental technology and dental hygiene. 
Um, dental assisting is our only certificate program on our campus. Everything else is a bachelor's degree on our campus. Um, so our dental assisting is actually just a 10 month certificate. Um, and that's because you can earn the same amount of money with a certificate in dental assisting as you can with a bachelor's degree in dental assisting. Um, so we decided to keep that one as a certificate because why not get you guys out there working and earning money a little bit quicker. Um, but all of our pro other programs are bachelor's degrees. So we also have, um, like I said, we have dental technology and dental hygiene. Um, we have a health science degree, which is a really great option for any student who wants to go on and go to med school, PT school, OT, um, anything like that, because this program lets you work your prerequisites for those graduate schools into your degree. So you're going to get through school quicker and faster. Um, we also have a medical imaging program. Um, we have two tracks within that program. We have traditional radiography, and then we also just added sonography to that program as well. So we're very excited about that addition. Um, our largest program on our campus is actually our nursing program. Um, we admit 80 students twice a year into that program, so 80 in the spring and 80 in the fall. Um, all of our other programs that I've talked about up until this point are also all competitive programs. Um, so you will be, you apply and you'll get admitted to IU Fort Wayne as a pre-program student. Um, and then with those programs I've talked about, um, you will then after your first year in college, you'll apply into um, your professional program. Um, so they have, you know, GPA requirements, um, you have to get C or better on all of your prerequisite coursework for those programs. Um, but each one has a little bit different requirements. Um, the rest of our programs, um, including our social work um, and our public health um, programs, those are non-competitive. Um, so we have um, a bachelor's degree of social work on our campus and you can actually be licensed through our program. You can be a licensed bachelor of social work, um, which is really great going out there and the work build with that. Um, and we actually have a master's degree in social work on our campus as well. And it's really great if you know you wanna go on and get your master's degree in social work, get your bachelor's degree first because they're gonna knock 19 credit hours off of your master's degree if you have that bachelor's in social work. Um, and then within the, the um, public health department, we have a health data science um, degree, which is basically a biostatistics computing degree. We have a community health degree for those students who want to go into um, the nonprofit work within the healthcare um, system. And then we also have health services management, which is all of the background work in healthcare. Um, that's people working for insurance companies, that's people um, working in the background in the hospital, making sure things are running right. All right, so we are going to talk cost of attendance. Um, I have two columns here. I have um, a column for people who live on campus and a column for people who live with their parents. Um, these are numbers for a full year of attendance. Um, so our tuition is banded tuition. So if you're a full-time student, um, you'll pay $9,944 a year in tuition. Um, and then our books and supplies, we estimate that to be at about um, $1,000. Um, room and board, that's estimated to be about $10,000 if you're living on campus. Um, if you're living with your parents, that's saying $2,000. That's not your mom and dad charging you rent. Um, that's basically them saying that now that you're in college, you're probably paying for some of your own food now. Um, and then um, transportation. Um, if you're living on campus, it's only a 10 minute walk from your apartment to campus. Um, so they figure you're not going to spend a lot on transportation. Um, if you're living with your parents, they estimate that to be about 2000. Um, that's about a half hour of driving to and from campus every day. And then personal expenses are just, you know, the little things that come up in life, like buying a cup of coffee, um, things like that. That's what those expenses are. Um, but in total for a year, um, if you're living on campus, they estimate that to be at about $23,000 um, and living with your parents at about $17,000. So if you would like to apply to IU Fort Wayne, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go online to our website, um, iufw.edu slash apply. You can actually apply to all of the IU campuses at the same time using this application. So that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. You only got to pay the one application fee. Um, and then after you do that, make sure you reach out to your high school, have them send us your official um, 
high school transcripts. And then we are actually test optional as well. Um, we decided pre-pandemic to be test optional. Um, so even after COVID, we get through all of this and testing is open normal again, you will have the option in whether or not to have us consider your test scores. Um, so if you do, just make sure you get those test scores sent to us. Um, also, make sure you include us on your FAFSA. Um, so there's our FAFSA code as well as our SAT and ACT codes for our school. Um, and then I just also wanted to point out, um, we do have admission-based scholarships. Um, so when you apply to IU Fort Wayne, you're automatically considered for that. And we only base it on your GPA. So if you choose not to submit your test scores, that won't um, take you out of the running for scholarships, essentially. You'll still be able to be considered for scholarships. All right, and I am now going to turn it over to Indiana Tech. All right, sorry. Um, hi, my name is Erica, and I am the Assistant Director of Admissions um, here at Indiana Tech. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we've got to offer. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so Indiana Tech, just a little bit about us. Um, we are a private school, so we're the first one um, private school here to talk today. Um, we are not-for-profit and we're a comprehensive university, so we offer um, everything from an associate's degree, uh, bachelor's, master's, and we have doctoral programs as well. Um, we are accredited through the Higher Learning Commission um, and we offer career-focused programs. I don't know why my slide is not. Sorry guys. All right, so a little bit about our academics. So um, we have three different colleges. We have a College of Engineering. Um, we also have um, within the College of Engineering, these are our programs. Um, the ones that are starred, so Biomedical, Electrical, and Mechanical Engineering are all ABED accredited. So that's the highest accreditation an engineering program can get. Um, so that's gonna be very similar to like your Purdue, your Rose Holman, those, those big engineering schools. Um, some of the, Benefits to that though is you get to utilize the equipment here and everything because our, our class sizes are much smaller, um, in, especially when you get into those degree programs. We also have a full school of computer science. So our school of computer science falls underneath our engineering, our college of engineering, but it separates out on the school of computer science. Um, so we have things, uh, computer science, bachelor of arts and sciences, uh, cybersecurity, our cybersecurity, our cyber defense team, um, goes against some top ranked schools every year and we make it very far and have won regionals and state um, went on to nationals and placed very well. Um, and then just a quick fact about our software engineering program is we've never had somebody graduate without a job offer. So um, that program is very highly respected around here. Um, and we, um, yeah, they just, they get the jobs for sure. So our College of Business, um, so we have accounting, we also have business administration with some different concentrations in there. It is pretty easy to double, con like do a dual concentration um, if that's what you're interested in doing. Um, and then we also have a standalone marketing, sports management and fashion marketing and management. Um, our full school of business is accredited through the International Accreditation for Council for Business Education. So that's just another specialized accreditation um, that helps our graduates stand out. We have a full um, College of Arts and Sciences. So this includes things like biology, child development, exercise science, if you're interested in like a physical therapy, um, our pre-professional track on exercise science um, gets you prepared for all of um, those classes for grad school and stuff like that. We also recently added a forensic science, our health science program and biology are all um, newer programs um, and doing really well. Um, our recreational therapy program, if you don't know much about recreational therapy, um, you should learn. That's what I majored in whoop, whoop, here at Indiana Tech. Um, but we are one of the only colleges in the state of Indiana that has that. I think there are three other colleges that offer rec therapy. So. We also have a center for criminal justice. So um, this is where criminal justice, our crime analysis, um, administration degree, also our pre-law program and stuff falls too. Um, and we were just awarded the editor's uh, choice for best bachelor's program in crime, uh, crime scene investigation for 2020, 2021. Um, so that's pretty exciting. The director of that program, he's pretty legit. So you gotta come and meet him. His name is Dominic Lombardo. So 
Freshman housing, um, although we might not have as great of housing as Purdue Fort Wayne slash IU Fort Wayne, um, we do have great housing here at Indiana Tech as well. Um, our two freshman halls are Pearson Hall and Cal Flush. Um, within Cal Flush Hall, you just share your room with one other person, uh, has an open face closet system and you have a full bathroom right there in your unit as well. Um, Pearson, you have one roommate and two suite mates. Um, each side um, share or has their own half bath and it connects in the back for a shower. Um, so both are pretty nice options. Um, again, our laundry is free as well. All of the um, costs, you know, like your, uh, what's it called? Like all the utilities and all that kind of stuff is included as well. So to talk a little bit about scholarship um, and cost breakdown. So this is our 2020-21 cost. So this is not for the incoming freshman class, um, but you're looking at tuition costs being about 20, 28,000. Um, after your student service fee. Um, and then if you are in computer science, engineering or sciences or exercise science, you have an, do have an additional program fee just because of the different labs and equipment that you have access to that other students do not. Um, but we were awarded or we are ranked top um, university in the region for return on investment, um, which is pretty cool. We've gotten that a few years too. So even though the cost seems pretty high, I'm gonna talk to you about scholarships next. So we're able to kind of offset those costs. Um, so presidential scholarship, that is a full tuition scholarship all four years. Um, that is the only scholarship that you actually have to apply for. Um, the remaining scholarships are ones that are kind of awarded to you automatically. Our elite scholarship is for um, students that have a 3.52 GPA or higher um, and meet those test score requirements. We are test optional, but if you do want to apply for the presidential scholarship or be considered for the elite scholarship, you must submit test scores. Um, then our merit scholarship is based on your GPA and then Indiana partnership grant. So all students who are non athletes living in Indiana also receive a $3,000 partnership grant. Um, and then if we are able to offer athletic scholarships. So if you're interested in that, you just have to get with coach and see what they have available. For athletics, um, we do compete in the NAIA um, and can offer those athletic scholarships um, and they we basically have everything but swimming and football, kind of like Purdue Fort Wayne. Um, so there's kind of a list of our programs. Student life, we have over 150 free activities for students every year. Um, those include, we also have a movie theater on campus, six lane bowling alley, um, lots of different student organizations, great intramurals, um, so on and so forth. Just a picture of a few of our events that we've had this year. So if you are interested in applying to Indiana Tech, you can fill out our free application by going to um, indianatech.edu slash apply now. Submit your high school transcripts um, and ACT or SAT scores if you would like to, complete your FAFSA, and so on and so forth. So that is Indiana Tech. I'm going to turn it over to Kanan with the University of St. Francis. All right, hope, hopefully everyone's doing well. I'm going to go a little bit faster just so we have some time for questions uh, at the end. Uh, my name is Kenan. I'm one of the un undergrad admissions counselors at the University of St. Francis. Um, I am also an alum, um, so I graduated from St. Francis um, in 2016. Um, why are the slides moving? It says you have control. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So just a quick picture, just to give you an idea what our campus looks like. Um, so a little bit about a little history on the University of St. Francis. So uh, we were founded in 18, 1890. Um, we actually were founded by the sisters in Germany. They moved to Illinois and in 1944. Uh, we moved to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, we do have two campuses, uh, one just a little bit away from downtown, and then we have our music technology and our business, which is in the heart of downtown. So, uh, That is a picture of our Atkins building. It just opened up last year um, for our science and uh, pre-med and uh, pre-PA pre majors. All right, just a little bit of facts about the University of St. Francis. So we have about 1,900 undergrad students. You get about 23 uh, with master's and doctorate programs. We have close to 80 different uh, 
degree options as well. All, our, all of our courses are taught by faculty. Um, so you get about 11 students per one faculty member. When I attended, I had classes where I had four or five students in the class with me. Um, something big as like a gen ed course, you might get 30, 35 at the most. Uh, average class size is 17. So these are some of the majors that we offer. Um, these are the undergrad majors. So we offer everything but uh, almost everything but engineering is the big one that we do not offer. So everything from education to uh, healthcare programs um, to edu uh, business uh, and art programs as well. Just a little, couple pictures on what goes on at the institution. And what, uh, like Erica talked about with the private institution, you always get that big sticker price. So even though uh, we're about thirty-two, thirty-three $33,000 per year, uh, we do offer quite a few different scholarships. These scholarships you do not have to apply for. Once you apply to an institution, based off your GPA, you will be awarded with one of these scholarships. Um, if you are close to, let's say, the 19000 you can take the SAT or ACT to help, uh, hopefully bump you up. We are also test optional. Uh, there are certain programs that do still require it, such as our dual accept PA program, nursing, and things like that. Uh, we are also at NAIA school. Uh, those are some of the sports that we offer. We are the only school in the area that does have a football team, and our football team does really well. Uh, a couple of years ago, they went back to back national champion, uh, champions. Uh, we do also offer athletic scholarships as well. Uh, we do offer four different types of uh, residential halls on campus. One of them is apartment style. Uh, there's ones where uh, it's just four students, so per bathroom and shower. Uh, we do offer free laundry, cable, uh, you can park as a freshman as well. So I would encourage you to come check it out, um, come schedule a visit. I think that's the best way you're going to figure out if the school is going to be the right fit for you. And then even though we are a smaller school, that doesn't mean you're not going to get college experience. You're not going to have fun. We have over 500 different events that go on throughout the year. Uh, whether they're doing like canoe races in the lake or giving out free food. So there's something that's always going on. Uh, probably close to 50 different clubs and organizations you can be a part of as well. If there's not one, you can always create it. Uh, intramural sports, field trips to different countries, mission trips to Haiti. So there's something that you can definitely get involved in. Perfect. Uh, we appreciate everyone uh, tuning in with us and getting to know a little bit about the schools that are offered here in Fort Wayne, learning a little bit about Fort Wayne, what we have to offer as a city. So I'll turn it over uh, to Sunila. She can, if you have any questions that anyone submitted. Thank you. Um, so it looks like there weren't any questions in the Q&A box. But if you guys have some follow-up questions, um, you can take a picture of the slide and get our contact information. And um, you know, please feel reach, please feel free to reach out to us. So thank you for attending today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yes, thank you so much for joining us today. When you leave this broadcast, there will be a quick four-question survey. Let us know what we can do to help you even more. Uh, and please sign up for more sessions with us at inacac.org. This recording will be available in about a week, again, at inacac.org. Have a great evening.